Uh, hey YouTube, uh, quick tutorial on uh, creating stream traces on a slice. Uh, this was a question that came in through CFD Online. Um, just My name is Joel Rittenberg. Let me uh, show you quickly how one does that. This is actually kind of a fun example. It's um, actually supposed to be a coffee machine. So you can see that there's a heating vessel and then the water comes through up and then uh, down through the downspout. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to look at a, a slice because I was quite interested or intrigued about the, uh, the heating and the convection. So I can grab a slice and put a slice into the volume. You can see this is actually multiple slices. That's because I have a start and show or start and end slice and intermediates. But we're just going to look at one slice just because it'll be easier to, to make sense of this. Okay, so we have a slice, um, put it at about 50% of the way through. And right now, if I right click on the slice, you can see that we are likely looking at uh, the velocity. But um, let's say we wanted to look at the U component of the velocity. That's actually relatively easy um, to show a velocity in the slice. But Let's say you want to look at vectors. Well, you can do that as well. You can see, but we really, really don't have enough density of vectors. We want to look at stream traces. So let's let's talk about how one does that. If you select the slice and extract it, basically in TechPlot that makes it a zone. Once the slice is a zone, you'll notice if I move um, the slice in the domain that the slice I extracted remains uh, opaque. Okay, I'm going to select this new zone which I created, which is the slice. And I'm going to go to the stream traces. And you'll see that because I've selected an object, it says put these stream traces on the surface of the object. And it's set at volume line. Just to give you an idea of what that would look like, if I create the slices, or create the ices or stream traces from the slice, you can see that it creates a number of stream traces. But that's not what we want, so let's delete all those. We actually want these to be surface lines. And we'll go ahead and create those stream traces. So you can see if we zoom in, so we have nice stream traces showing the circulation on the slice. If I <coughs> right click on the stream traces, you can see I can delete them all or extract them. If we go into the design, look at the line and change it into, say, showing the first contour variable. Now we have stream traces on a slice, and this was actually the request from the user. So that's how you do it in TechPlot. You could, of course, uh, calculate a new variable that z equals zero, set the vector variables throughout the domain, uh, and that would actually constrain it to the slice as well. But this is uh, probably an easier method. So thanks for watching, and uh, keep the questions coming. We'll keep making tutorials to help you use TechPlot to its fullest. Thanks again.